Etheridge rides in red, Keith Pritchard's in blue, Rob Grant's in white, and Mike Caroline's in yellow and black. And the bandit that shows in front is in fact Rob Grant in white, with Laurie Etheridge in second place and Mike Caroline third. End of the first lap, Pritchard trying very hard to come under Caroline. Caroline keeping hold of that third place, but now losing it to Pritchard as the two of them go down the back straight, locked together. Caroline trying the wide open spaces and in fact just getting ahead now of Keith Pritchard. So this is 4-2 for Berwick. And that's the way it looks as we see it. With Caroline still holding on to third place and Pritchard driving hard under Mike Caroline and trying again and the two really are in conflict there and in fact Caroline comes off and he won't be very happy about that. The race continues, Rob Grant wins it, second place is Laurie Etheridge and third is Keith Pritchard. And let's see what's happened to Mike Caroline. There he is, walking back to the pits and pointing angrily to somebody. And I wonder if that somebody could be Keith Pritchard. Well, let's go back and have a look at that incident again, shall we? Really, uh, everybody saw the incident here at Canterbury. Here you can see the two riders, that's Pritchard and Caroline, coming up the grandstand straight, really neck and neck. And as they go into the first bend, Pritchard drives hard underneath Caroline, and the two of them momentarily seem to be together. And then, well, you saw what happened there. Caroline went down. Well, you've had the opportunity of seeing the incident. The answer uh, to the question, was he pushed, is yours to make up your own mind. Certainly Barry Bowles thought that nobody was pushed and Pritchard, of course, got the third place at the expense of Caroline. Into With that little bit of needle, as I mentioned earlier, coming into this league match, four points in it, 44-40 after 14 heats. Heat 15 has Barney Kennett in red. David Mullet comes in to replace Jamie Luckhurst. Mike Caroline comes in as a tactical substitute in place of Brian Collins and Steve McDermott is per programme in uh, this one and it's McDermott in yellow and black who goes into an early lead with his teammate Mike Caroline in second place and uh, in blue it's young David Mullet who now tries the outside and powers round Mike Caroline as if he was stationary Caroline, trying desperately hard to hold on to his machine, manages to do so, but David Mullet establishes himself in second place. What a grand showing from this little youngster. Still McDermott in the lead, and now Caroline is being pressed by Barney Kennett, the home skipper. Caroline holds on gamefully. Kennett's not finished yet, and Kennett comes under Caroline quite hard, and Caroline goes down practically in the same spot as the previous heat. He must uh, be getting used to that particular part of the track here at Kingsmead. McDermott wins, makes a gesture to the crowd in doing so. Second place goes to David Mullet, and third place to Barney Kennett.